Hey everyone, so I'm going to show you real quick how to access the Holly shared drive. So if you um, just makes it a little bit easier to get to it than trying to find that link in that email that I shared with you. And if you've got some issues, this might straighten those out for you. So there are two different ways to access and I'm going to start first with the how to access it with a Google account. So if you already have a Gmail account that you have uh, share with me, then you have access to that account. Now I can add other accounts in there. So if you have multiple email addresses and you'd like for me to share them with all of them, please let me know. That just might make it a little bit easier on you to find everything. So I am logged into my personal Gmail accounts in the upper right hand corner. You can see which account that you are in and you can do this from any computer in the world. Uh, so as long as you can log into your Gmail, then you are good. I've also shared this with the info at Holly Theater account. There, that's actually the owner of the shared drive. So if you are at the theater and you are in the box office, you can get to it the same way just by being logged into the info at Holly Theater account, which is also a Gmail account. So from your Gmail account in the upper right hand corner, you see this icon in the upper right hand corner that's got uh, these little boxes. That's called a waffle. So if you open up the waffle, you can see the all those things in the Google Suite that are available to you. And one of those should be a drive. This should be the same on all of them. If your drive is not here, then it will probably be under more. And you can see more of those uh, applications that are available to you. But drive is right here. So when you open up the drive, it goes first to your personal Google Drive. And if you've never used it before, then this is going to be blank. There might be a folder or so in here with instructions, but it most likely is going to be blank. And this is where you can save your personal stuff. So you can drag and drop from your desktop any items here and they'll be stored in the Google Drive, which is a cloud-based server and you can access it from anywhere on the planet. Um, so, so this is your personal stuff. However, the, sh the Google folder was shared with your account. So you have to come over on the left and click on Share With Me. So it's the third link down, click on share with me. And this shows you all of the folders that have been shared to that Gmail account. So if you notice that my picture is still the same up here, this is my personal Gmail account and I'm in shared with me. And I'm gonna come down and I see Holly shared drive, which is what I've named our shared folder. So if you click on Holly shared drive, that opens up your, um, the things that you have access to. And I've given view access to all of this to everyone on the board um, and added access to specific folders if you are committee chair. And if you need specific access granted to you, please let me know and I'll grant that as well. So once you are in here, you can see the different folders that I've created. Um, meeting minutes are in here, so you can open that. They're organized by year. You can go to 2018 and you can see the months that we've already had. Plus you can open up March, you can see the agenda, you can see the minutes and you can see the uh, PDF files of the things that Marina have uploaded for the PNLs. Um, if you want to edit the agenda, you have edit access to the minutes, I believe. So if you open up the agenda, you can come in and you can type things into the agenda uh, wherever you want to um, and create those. And that just makes it a little bit easier for us all to get started at the meetings. Uh, another important folder that you need to note uh, is the contracts. So if you come back to the contracts and forms, I've got the Holly Rental contract. I've got a Word document, which is editable. Plus, I've got the PDF in here. Now, be careful. If you are to edit anything in a drive, you have to download it to your computer. So if I open this up, it just opens up with a picture. And um, if I actually want to edit anything, then I have to download it. And that's only going to edit that on my computer. It's not going to edit it in the cloud. It has to then be re-uploaded. But I can talk to you about all about that later. So play around with that. Let me know if you've got any questions, and I will help you however I can. Thanks.